Hey guys, in this Topaz Video AI review, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of upscaling one of my videos. The video I took is right here in the Galapagos Islands. I took a video of a marine iguana. Let me just click on this original and let me just show you the entire video. Well, not the entire video, but I'm going to give you a little bit of it. This is on 1080p, which was recorded on my GoPro. The video is a little bit uh, finicky or wobbly uh, while I'm moving back and forth. And the reason I'm mentioning that is it's to make it stabilize later. And let me just fast forward it. Okay, great. So now I'm going to click on the before and after. This is the original. And to show a preview, I'm going to click on here. You can see this border, this purple border. So this is the image I'm, or this is the video I'm working with. So now I'm going to render and upscale this image to 4k so before i do that i do need to put in some in and out points the reason being is if i preview and render the entire video it's going to take too long to render video ai or topaz video ai is very gpu intensive it can take several minutes to render a preview and then of course to export the entire video so i'm just going to go here and then i'm going to click on this icon right here, left square bracket. That'll be the endpoint. And now I'm gonna go here and that looks good. And that'll be the out point. So now with the upscaling, I'm going to upscale it to 4K. You can also just enhance this video if you want, but I'm gonna upscale it to 4K. You can see it's at 60p, I mean 60 frames per second. And I'm gonna click on stabilization because I was wobbly with my GoPro. I'll leave the strength at 50. It was a little bit jittery. No rolling shutter. That looks good. The number of passes for the jittery is number two. One of the things is like, it says each additional pass runs Kronos fast. So Topaz, it has a lot of unique names for its AI models. And I believe most of them, or some of them are after like Greek gods. Anyways, I'm gonna also turn on motion de blur. There's only one AI model available for this. And then there's frame interpolation, which I don't need because I'm not doing any type of slow-mo. And I'm also gonna enhance the video. And here, what I was talking about, here's the AI models. These AI models are not updated yet on the Topaz Labs support website, but you can kind of figure it out. This is enhanced medium quality video. And this is for the phase between low and medium quality. This is for noise reduction. But anyways, for this video, I think the best one is going to be Gaia upscale high quality. I'm going to click on that. And I don't want to add any noise and I don't need to fix the focus. So let me see if everything looks good here. And you can see I accidentally selected four times. I should be two times. Be careful if you select like four times. Sometimes it gets finicky or may cause errors when you're upscaling image, when you're upscaling 4K video to 8k or trying to do it beyond 8k it can cause errors but anyways i'll select two times which will be 4k and now you can see the preview in and out you can also preview the entire video like 30 seconds or you, i can delete these if i want i can clear the brackets and preview the entire video but i don't want to do that because it takes too long to render so now i'm going to click on preview and now topaz video ai it's going to render the video it will take a few minutes, even though it's showing a few seconds, but it's going to get updated. And if you want, well, if you want to upscale more video or if you want to see different AI models, you can just change these and then click on preview and then another model will be updated and will be rendered here. You can also do a batch processing if you want. So right now I'm just going to like quickly fast forward to the upscale the video. Okay, so now it finished rendering. It actually took quite a few minutes. It took about 10 minutes in real time to render this upscale to 4K. And that's just to render the preview, not the entire export. But anyways, let's see a before and after of this video and see how the quality is. Right now I'm just at a zoom of fit or a fit view. You can slightly notice that there's less shake on the upscaled or, the, or on the enhanced video. And now I'm just gonna stop it here. 
and you can see like video AI, I'm on a MacBook Pro 16 inch and it still lags a little bit to, with the interface. But anyways, I'm gonna scale up or zoom in about 200. Where am I? Actually, let me go to 100. And let's take a look at this guy right here. So this is the 4K video. I just clicked on play. There's a one second delay. And let's see how it looks. It looks like the upscaled or enhanced video has less shake. Let me move it around, zoom around. And the one thing that may be hard to notice on this screencast is when I zoom in to 200 and I look around here on these uh, spikes, you can notice the spikes have been enhanced. It has more detail, less blur, and it's a little bit more sharper around the edges. Hopefully you guys can see that on the, on this screencast because I can definitely see it but like when you zoom out you can't really notice the difference but the video has been upscaled so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on export and then I'm gonna export it to my local hard drive and one important thing I forgot to mention is when you're exporting you can click on export as and put it in whichever folder you want but you have to make sure you clear the in and out points. Otherwise, it's only going to export the selected preview area with the in and out brackets. If you want to export the entire video, make sure you just click on this clear button and then export. But usually you want to export only a specific part of a video just because you usually don't need an entire video when you're doing uh, videography. To give you a better and after comparison of Topaz Video AI, I cropped the videos with the original 1080p file in the middle, zoomed in six times, and the outer crop of the new enlarged video to 4K, zoomed in three times. Though subtle, you'll notice the improvement. Hopefully, now you know how to use Topaz Video AI. If you plan to purchase Topaz Video AI, use the link in the description to support the channel at no extra cost to you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.